they're living sending people out to get vaccinated about 140 to 150 a day that's what we're getting here and what the mostly latinos really i have to say that the mostly latinos people try to get vaccinated and the choice was mostly on the fires as well more than the Johnson Johnson. So people can choose what they'd like out of the Pfizer or uh, the Johnson and Johnson or Moderna. It's up to them what they what they can have here. Exactly, it's up to them what they want to choose. Uh, have you had much concern from people getting their injections here? Are people worried about the effects, or they're mostly enthusiastic about being immunised? What's the what's the sort of the response you see? Okay, lately, lately it looks like people are educated a little bit more when they heard about this new variant. So people are really getting vaccinated and that the incentive they're yeah. giving right now is getting them to, to come over too. So we're getting more people getting vaccinated. And what's the purpose of this mobile setup? Yeah, it's just trying to get the community to get vaccinated. Sometimes people don't have access to the hospital. Some people just cannot find an appointment to go to the, to the hospital. Some people don't know where to get it. So coming around the community, so you get them closer to where they can get the vaccine. So most of the people, they say, oh, we don't have time to go there, or we're getting up from work. We ride by the train station, they get up, they take it, and they can go back to work. How are you choosing which areas to bring the, the buses to? It's usually we get a database sending us order. We get an email update every week where the vaccination is low. So wherever the vaccination is low, they're sending us to those zip code, and we help those people get vaccinated.